In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This day we join the church in celebrating the solemnity of the ascension of the Lord. As well, the parishes of Holy Sepulchre and St. Killian are marking the end of the school year at this Mass that the children of both Catholic schools, St. Killian and Holy Sepulchre, have been attending Mass throughout most of this academic year each week on Monday or Friday. And it's been since March that we've been able to do that. And so this Mass, in a special way, is directed toward the children of those schools. But especially, we include all the grade school children of our parish who in these weeks will be completing another academic year. For all of them, this Mass is offered. As we begin, we ask for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us your peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You send us to proclaim the good news. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to an everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended to the heavens, may in his spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going. Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shouts of joy, of 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which we worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at the right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, in every name that is named, not only in this age, but in the ones to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him a head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This feast of the ascension of the Lord marks the completion of the mission that was given to Jesus by his Father. That Jesus came from the Father, came into the world to redeem the human race, to proclaim the kingdom of the Father. And he did that. And his ascension was the dramatic re-entry into eternal glory. What does that have to do with us? Not long ago, I was talking to a grade school student in one of our schools. It was a young lady. And she was about to do something that was different something that was challenging for her. And I said to her, mistakenly, I guess you're a little anxious. This is something really new for you. And she said, it's like this. You know my brother. If he can do it, I can do it. Great confidence, but also 
it's saying something to us that you and I are children of the Father. And so is Jesus. You and I have been given a mission, a job to do. And so was Jesus. And so when we look at the completion of the mission of Jesus, we should see within his life some pattern for our own. It's too easy to say, well, but he was the son of God. He was the anointed one. He was also a sharer in our human nature. When he was very young, he had to learn new things constantly. Joseph, his father, had a business. And the business was making woodwork. And Jesus had to learn that. He went to the synagogue and heard the scriptures and learned the power of the Torah and the prophets. In his life, people made fun of him. They mocked him. And he suffered at the hands of others. Lots of people didn't believe in him. Some people didn't think he would amount to anything. Doesn't that sound familiar? Jesus experienced so much of what we experience in our lives every day. And that's the point. It's a powerful one. In spite of all that, Jesus knew that his Father expected him to proclaim the kingdom and to redeem the human race. He had a job to do, and he did it well. And as the young lady said, if my brother can do it, so can I. Jesus is our brother, and like him, the, the Father has given us a mission, a job to do. And for each of us, the job is different. In fact, on any given day, our own job is different. New things are expected. New challenges are before us. People put new obstacles in our way. But it doesn't change the mission that you and I are call, called to proclaim God's kingdom, to show the love of the Father, to convey Jesus, and his presence in our world, in our homes, our neighborhoods, within our families, our schools, and our activities. Jesus is present because of you and me. He's here, he's alive in us. That's our mission. And the challenge is this. If our brother can do it, so can we. Are you willing to do that every single day? Together, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith and with confidence, we come before the Lord with the needs of our hearts and our lives. For the church, that empowered by the Spirit, we may faithfully give witness to the gospel and continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and healing to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children of our parishes, may the Lord protect them and send his abundant grace upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who feel alone and isolated, that God will console them, let them experience God's presence in their homes, and help others to connect with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, especially those with COVID-19, that God's healing spirit will fill them, ease their pain, and restore them to wholeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the living and deceased members of St. Killian and Holy Sepulchre parishes, and for the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we mark this day as the day of the completion of the mission you have given to your Son our human redemption. Help us to see in his example the courage we need to complete the mission you have given to each of us as we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, who is the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we offer sacrifice now in supplication to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son, Grant, we pray, that through this holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. After his resurrection, He plainly appeared to his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he must make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Schwalm, the principal of St. Killian Parish School. On behalf of the SKP SKPS administration and faculty, we would like to thank you for another wonderful year. We are so proud of you and everything you have accomplished during the year. This is not the year Mrs. Rock and I were expecting when we envisioned our first year as principal and vice principal. I thought we would have more time together, learning and making memories along the way. Although our year didn't end like we expected, our community grew more than ever. We came together quickly to overcome the obstacles that were handed to us, and we couldn't be more proud of everything you have accomplished. You have persevered and achieved the goals set before you by your parents and teachers. We would like to take the time to thank the parents for entrusting us with your children. Thank you for all of your support and continued efforts to help us guide your children academically and spiritually. Thank you to all of our PTG members for their continued commitment to SKPS. You have helped us fundraise and provide our students with school events that create lasting memories with classmates and teachers. Our faculty and staff have worked very hard this year to bring you together and create learning environments, both in and outside of the classroom, where you could learn, make friends, and prepare you for the future. Mrs. Rock and I are so proud of our SKPS community for coming together and continuing to work hard. We hope you have a wonderful summer and cannot wait to see your smiling faces in the fall. God bless you.
Good afternoon. I'm Ashley Bauer, proud principal of Holy Sepulchre Catholic School. I want to thank you for another wonderful, productive academic school year. I can't thank everyone enough for your endless hours of volunteering, chaperoning, reading, organizing, donating, and doing whatever it was necessary to support our students, both at home and at school. This year was definitely different than all others. The COVID-19 situation threw us all for a loop, but in the end, we conquered through. To our PTG leadership team, thank you for going above and beyond the call of duty to provide special events and activities for our students. These events and activities are a treasure to our school community. We always look forward to others joining our PTG board. If you are interested, it's not too late. To our wonderful student body, thank you for being a hardworking Hornet. I am so honored to be your principal. You make me proud. Have a fun and safe summer. I can't wait to see your smiling faces and hear the laughter and excitement as we rejoin one another's presence in the fall. To our eighth graders, thank you for the wonderful years you've shared with us at Holy Sepulchre School. This has been a pleasure to watch you grow and develop physically, academically, and spiritually. Whatever you choose to pursue in high school, they will be lucky to have you. You will be missed greatly. To our parents, thank you for entrusting the faculty, staff, and I with your greatest gift. We are proud to play a role in their preschool, elementary, and middle school learning journey. The past few months would not have been possible without each of you. Thank you for your endless support, guidance, effort, and cooperation. To the faculty and staff, thank you for sharing yourself and special gifts with us. The Holy Sepulchre community is lucky to have each of you. The past few months were definitely a challenge, and I thank you for the massive amount of energy, skill, creativity, devotion, and determination you put forth. I couldn't be more proud of each of you being on my team. I applaud you for your commitment, and I thank you. Holy Sepulchre Catholic School community, until next school year, here's wishing you a safe and happy summer full of love, laughter, and learning. God bless. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries. Grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, as we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As is our custom, I offer a thought for the day, the week, the month, and the summer to all of the young people of our parishes, especially those who are in grade school. As I shared in the homily, like Jesus, our brother, we have a mission on earth. And that mission isn't limited to school or church. It's limitless. That mission continues every day at home, among your friends. You have a mission. And the mission is to proclaim Jesus as our Lord and Savior and to demonstrate by the way you live the joy and the hope that he brings. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.